Hi, welcome to the next channel. So one of the FAQs I do get uh, from uh, users across the world is uh, whether uh, Toffee uh, supports uh, IP header compression or IP header optimization and stuff like that. So the quick answer for this uh, question is uh, it doesn't uh, support the same by default. But having said that, uh, if you are uh, uh, having some custom layer 2 based uh, networks uh, or uh, some kind of custom uh, satellite networks or serial uh, link uh, uh, networks uh, uh, you know it can be supported uh, but by default it is not supported because the reason is it has to be compliant with existing ip based routing networks so for the same i have to keep the ip headers intact so that it is not um, you know uh, customized in any way so that these intermediate routers can uh, route the same so if you uh, search about ip header compression you can find various uh, strategies and you can find some rfcs as well uh, regarding the same so if you search ip header uh, compression you can see here <coughs> so we can do a web search as well as image search so if you go to image search you can find various interesting images about the same and if you go to this web search you can see here you have some wikipedia topic about the same and they describe about a specific rfc of 1144 it is van jacobson tcp uh, tcp ip header uh, compression and stuff like that so there are various ways to do some uh, discuss about uh, tcp optimize tcp header alone optimization some discuss about ip header alone optimization and stuff like that and more interestingly you can also find uh, this white paper i find it very interesting from a company called uh, uh, fnet ab uh, you can see the white paper over here so you can see the topic itself is uh, an introduction to ip header compression so if you scroll down uh, they have some fantastic uh, documentation about the same and uh, it is quite uh, useful like they describe in uh, satellite based uh, long distance networks uh, where uh, uh, saving any sort of bandwidth it is going to hugely improve the performance unlike something you find it in a high speed uh, land networks so you can go down and uh, they have various uh, things uh, described here you can see here uh, they have uh, given an example uh, like you have an uh, v4 uh, packet with uh, uh, udp and then you have this rtp and uh, payload and stuff like that and then after they optimize they get something like that so this is what essentially ipv4 header uh, compression is all about so if, if you further scroll down uh, and of course they do mention about how much is the uh, optimization or compression gain of that uh, you know header optimization and stuff like that so it is quite interesting but on the other side the uh, problem with the header compression is sometimes it is not uh, going to be compliant with intermediate uh, uh, you know routed uh, 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 networks and uh, routing appliances so to understand better in a situation like uh, toffee um, what i did is i did this stack of uh, lego bricks as you can see here and uh, this black brick represents your ethernet header uh, this yellow strip represents your ip header and uh, this blue uh, represents uh, transport header and followed by which you have the payload so in the case of uh, toffee uh, it takes this entire chunk and it optimizes the same and after it optimizes let's represents uh, let's represent uh, this uh, chunk is the optimized data so this uh, is going to be attached uh, with the ip header and then uh, it is going to do some uh, essential changes in the ip header so that uh, it is compliant and again it it is going to be uh, uh, you know compliant with the intermediate uh, you know routing appliances so this is what essentially it happens so, so as it does optimization it does optimization of udp header it does optimization of tcp header or ictp or any sort of existing transport headers and it is going to amalgamate everything into this the reason i'm using the word amalgamate is it can do any sort of optimization it can do uh, deduplication it can do uh, compression it can even chop this into uh, you know uh, any sort of pattern and then it can uh, just optimize as much as possible so it does various iterations uh, and uh, 
essentially it is going to come out uh, come up with this uh, optimized data chunk and this is what it is essentially going to be attached with the ip header and then it will be sent across but provided if you have your custom layer to network so that there is going to be always an advantage for us because what we, we can do is assume this is your existing uh, uh, packet so if you have your uh, network as a layer to uh, network so uh, or else uh, a switched based networks not a routed networks so in that case what we have the freedom is uh, we have the freedom to touch any part uh, uh, other than of course uh, you know this part so it is essentially going to be created the way you do i mean if it is a serial link uh, networks it is going to be something else if it is ethernet it is going to be something else and stuff like that so let's ignore uh, the data link layer part so in that case we can essentially touch anywhere so in that situation what we can do is we can essentially optimize as a whole we can do deduplication and various other stuff and then we can just come up to, with extremely optimized data chunks like this and then uh, build a layer to header on top of it and then we can uh, you know send it across so this is more going to be highly optimized we don't have a situation uh, uh, like uh, you know retaining the ip header anymore so this is going to essentially go away and it is going to be amalgamated along with uh, you know uh, tcp or uh, udp headers uh, or in other words the uh, transport headers and it is going to be in uh, highly uh, compressed you know packet like this but uh, on the downside uh, uh, we do uh, get uh, many i do get uh, many users they do use it on essentially uh, their existing networks they do on uh, uh, sometimes they do uh, before using their vpn networks they do optimize with the toffee and uh, uh, stuff like that so in that case i need to retain the ip header so i can't touch the same so this is the reason uh, by default i'm not doing the same but having said so uh, if there is any rfc if you are interested to uh, support i can do as a part of uh, paid integration services <laughs> as a part of the same and of course we can do something like that and if you have a custom uh, uh, complete layer to network then we don't need to worry about if it is some sort of uh, uh, layer to network end to end uh, layer to connection which is the, essentially your long distance uh, uh, wan links and in that case we can do the same so we can deploy one toffee device here we can deploy another toffee device over there so once it reaches the remote end all i need to do is i need to do that uh, you know uh, reverse uh, uh, decompression or uh, I need to do everything essentially in the reverse order so i don't need to use the word compression because it is just not compression so i can do uh, all the steps in the reverse and finally essentially i can get uh, the original uh, packet in the remote uh, end of the toffee and then it can be sent across uh, uh, to your uh, van links so this is what something can be possible so uh, if you hop on here it is uh, quite interesting uh, again uh, <laughs> i'm sorry to interrupt i was uh, going through this uh, white paper so it is quite interesting uh, in case if you are interested uh, i can attach the links uh, below so that you can also go through these uh, links and as well as the uh, wikipedia links and uh, other stuff so you can see here they have a, a fair amount of documentation about the same and uh, also explaining various advantages and uh, you know other uh, terminology uh, behind the same so this is the reason uh, by default i don't uh, support uh, in the topic and uh, 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 in case uh, if it has to be supported uh, then i need to see in the user space what extent it can be done or else if it is uh, uh, if there is any uh, uh, existing uh, open source uh, project uh, do exist then in that case we can do some kind of integration within the same or else if it is something to be done uh, out of scratch it can be also done or else uh, as i said if it is a pure layer to network then you just forget about ip header uh, uh, compression or something because i can do deep duplication and i can just literally eat away a lot of chunks of data and then i can just pack it into a very highly optimized you know toffee uh, packet something like this and uh, and then we can send it across uh, to end to end uh, uh, you know layer to based wan networks so this is what it is so it is a highly creative stuff it again depends on each uh, individual user some users are um, my users are in, uh, using it for marine network some are using it for some kind of long distance uh, satellite voip and uh, some are using it for you know various other situations so that is what i i do uh, uh, bit mentioned over here and on the other side i do uh, mentioned uh, uh, some more uh, cases like uh, 
over here uh, let us yeah in the deployment over here so so uh, it can be uh, 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 highly dependent on your specific use case exactly where you are going to use so sometimes you are just uh, need to support uh, this as a part of your exist uh, existing uh, routed networks uh, and sometimes you are using any public ip and it is uh, these packets are going through internet and obviously we cannot uh, you know touch this ip header at all so it is better not to touch the same we never know in between any uh, firewall or anything uh, can uh, simply drop this packets because if you are creating something out of standard then it is just going to drop the packets and you are going to lose the connectivity and sometimes you may lose the connectivity after some time you deploy the toffee because they may feel something suspicious is happening something they cannot uh, you know uh, understand what these packets are and then they are just going to drop them away and sometimes uh, uh, even from the first attempt you never can get end to end connectivity at all so toffee is highly creative it is not something uh, where you just take it and then uh, you know put it and then you can just use it and this is the reason uh, i do support as a part of you know paid support so hope you guys loved watching this video in case if you have any questions uh, do send an email and let's be in touch in mail thank you once again for watching this video stay tuned have a nice day bye bye